bit of a bag into the trunk I took a shop and got the car squatting down the floor Y'all just give me the fucking nigga brands on today i am doing the next episode of the gangster gibbs series i'm reacting and reviewing freddie gibbs shadow of a doubt now i've got many people telling me to react to shadow of a doubt that they really want to see that reaction and that review so here it is freddie is very versatile and can you know tackle different pockets so i can't wait to see what pocket he's tackling in this album because it's not really a collab album and everything that i've listened to so far from freddie has been a collaboration joint his voice sounds so like like that sounds like like gravel right here it sounds like literally grit Really give a shit about a nigga floor. She was contented trying to grab him to a brick. I used to see a hand in the kitchen with y'all. Oh. Bars, I was sleeping out. Too yeah. happy, happy, hella bars. I can't even count. LA County, now I remember when the bra used to put me out. Cars, I was sleeping out. Peel, happy, happy, hella bars. I can't see you know who to trust. So many player hating niggas trying to sound like us. Oh I said, the bitches got a twist. The player hating niggas trying to sound like us. Oh. I said, the bitches got oh. a twist. Oh. 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 I swear to God, I love Ravy. Ravy is such an insane production it's a really evolutionary beat basically the undertones of it is kind of like changing and like so i really like the production and then i just love when the bass drops i love when you have those little like hi-hats coming in the hook of this song just makes you want to just rock your head um and it's a very interesting intro because it's not like really like boom like it's powerful yes but it still has this kind of like murkiness like low vibe to it it's not like boom in your face it's kind of like low and there you're just like you're just rocking you're not really like jumping up getting turned you're not really like wow you're just like in this kind of cool state even though it's really hitting you <laughs> So he's saying like this game is hard but the rap game is easy for me like I I'm killing this the bars are spilling out I don't need to try too hard for this yeah maybe in the dope game yeah that one has got a little bit of thinking and strategy to it but this this rap game right here this whole thing <laughs> this beat sounds really futuristic now at first it just felt like a whole lot of dark deep bass um which is just making it sound you know quite like aggy on the on the on the hunt not on the hunt but it sounded like aggy sounded very confrontational like this bass was like in your face but then it's turned and it's got these like little like effects in the background making it sound quite futuristic making it sound a bit sci-fi it's like at first it was like bang in your face and now it's like banging into space this is like if the aliens were coming down looking up into the sky and we're like what the hell is that and we see the light coming down <laughs> I really like Narcos. I like that solid second track. Very enjoyable. Like the production so much. I like Freddie just being aggy, being aggressive, being confrontational in this beat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Go crown top down, let's cruise with a bad hoe. Yeah, I nine from Chicago. I got the biggest, I can twist it and listen to do with that rap. Pretty can, young Cody Young. I'm in the man with the bows of the strong. Nigga getting paid from the shit that I record him. I was when I pull them bitches off the lot. For the top, got a drop. And he's on me on my top. For the lot. It sounds like quite a 
sad song. Even though he's talking about, oh, he's got a lot, he's got a lot of these women, he's got a lot of whatever. It sounds like, it's got like the, let me take it back. That's like a chimey kind of keys thing there. And then of course we have that sh strong bass as per usual. Seeing a lot of bass heavy songs here, but we've got those softer keys and like chiming in the background. And it makes it sound a little bit more like sad, makes it sound a little bit more like lonely, even though he's talking about all the things that he's got. This guy's flow is insane. What is wrong with you? He is the alien. You know the aliens I was talking about before? When they came down, everyone looked up and was like, Hold up, you look a bit like Freddie Gibbs. Niggas like a monkey, my clip, I got a banana. Rollin' with the penalty, niggas don't wanna find out. Same, dug in the steel, dug in the soul again. I fucking drunk, nigga, don't give up. Put a drop, body drop. Yeah, careless is insane. I like how it sounds a bit lonely, sounds a bit sad, sounds a bit like, um, like reflective in a sense, but reflective in a sad way. Like, you know, when you're looking at yourself and you're like, oh, I suck. Or like, that kind of thing. But... It sounds a bit like that. That be that beat evokes that kind of vibe, but then it's like he's completely he's talking about all these like kind of things he has in life, all the success he has, all the things that he's become accustomed to having right now. And it's like you have all these things, but the beat is kind of like it's like a chill, sad beat. So it's like you're saying you have these things, you think you'd be really happy about that, but maybe you got a lot, you got a lot. Maybe you're repeating you've got a lot of this because now like you got so much of it, it doesn't really mean anything anymore. That was very deep. I didn't mean to get that deep on you guys. You, 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 can, you can just ignore that. That's what I'm thinking. Like, you know when you got a lot of things? And when you first got that thing, it was like, wow, I've worked, I've got this. Then you get a lot of it and it, it begins to lose its value. That's the kind of vibe that song gives me. Okay, it's nice. I'm gonna like this. Listen, this guy is so versatile. This is um, a stupid beat. Like, this is nothing I would ever thought he could rap on. Look at him doing that. Look at him just do owning it right now. You go. Instant favorite is in the top for me so far with Careless. Like, it's like track three and number four, they're in the top for me right now. Not that the other two tracks I've had one good, those were good, those were great, but those I know highlights for me. There's two alien vibes and one of them's like the the positive alien vibe and one of them's like the negative alien vibe. It's just like it flips and it goes like inverse. It's something to fight for, but still end up in a state pen of the psych war. It's like so they can't show me they am a kid like it's a holiday. Yeah, yeah. Got the Michael Jackson beat it, I mean it, I got a Some people wanna see me hanging from a good hook. Instead I hang with a language and slang and the anguish and pain fit as well. Cause it can't spit us four to five fences, more than five senses. Cross fire miss my little daughter by inches. Chemical the I can't do this. I can't black thought is just another alien. Like let's not let's not talk about that alien and the planet where he's from. And then we've got an alien beat, a beat that changes in it has three vibes in it. And it's like it's insanity. It's I think it actually is the perfect track that to represent Gibbs because of how he has so many different pockets 
and he's so versatile with it. Let's give him a beat that changes three times and he'll be able to dominate it. Like, you know, this, and, this, and Black Thought can literally do the same thing. I actually really love it when Freddie sings. He has such like an earnest voice when he sings. Like, re like it's a voice that's really trying and actually trying very well, do you know what I mean? It's literally a vibe. It's literally like, I love him singing here as well as rapping and then the lovely just soft airy fairy like voice from dana williams that still has that soul in there it was a perfect match to this production and the vibe that the song was giving this song is like one of those songs that you enjoy and like you're cooling off time like it just it, it just got that kind of ease to it yeah, man. Tori, you know, I pull up in the what the fuck is that? I never thought that this could happen. Don't you bitch, coding like a seven day. What the hell is that? It's so it's so funny because like there's a beat there and he is following it but like he's like he's made his own flow he's made his own beat that's separate from the actual beat so it's like you can see that they're corresponding and working hand in hand but his is just so creative that it's his own. This is that big car music like you can't drive a little sports car in this you can't drive a little coupe. You gotta drive that big black like war truck. Tori brings that um, adrenaline to it as well. The way that he like sings, shouts like he sh he sings in a way that is like in this in in this song and many other songs where he's like shouting, he's like chanting it. Mexico was insane. The only one thing I didn't quite enjoy about it was the fact that I Tory Lanez's voice was a bit too distorted for me. I would have liked it to be a bit more clear. Maybe it's just me. Maybe I'm struggling. But um, that's just the only critique I have for that track. In terms of everything else, I feel like it's a perfect hype track. We've got just Freddie being braggadocious here, being really like got this obviously confident just style here, and I love it. And coupled with Tory Lanez and the way that he does his like delivery with that sing chant thing. It was perfect. This bass is monstrous. It's like, wow, this is slapping you in the face. Well, I quite like the hook. At first, I didn't like the hook because I it was like a bit too repetitive for me. And I started to like the hook a lot more towards the end. Saying that, this track is definitely not a favorite of mine because uh, it's delivering a message that I, you know, get a lot that I've had a lot or had an, an abundance from Freddie in earlier tracks. Usually in earlier tracks, like he will deliver such messages about that life and about that energy. He will deliver that and also like slide in some deep bars and whatever. Um, In this track, I felt like there was a lot less of that and it was a little bit, it was more simplistic, more focusing on the energy and the charge. It was just like a very energy heavy track, which is why I was like, that's why it was like a mid track for me.
even though it doesn't have like the typical sounds of summer and again it sounds very futuristic it's still got like a hipness to it with a boop boop black kind of sound that it has there and that kind of hipness you can i can imagine like you literally just like chilling on a beach or on a cruise and you know just vibing and because and also the lyrics help add to this vibe because it's the idea of um being you know with a woman dominating you know that kind of relationship getting what you want what you please all these things that these rappers love to rap about you know just that kind of energy of just being able to have anything you want which is that energy you feel in the summertime because it's so bright it's so sunny you feel positive you feel like yeah i can do this i can get this i f i feel like this is a very like cool summer track and i really like the, the gucci main feature so far when i play on i'm gonna leave the summer make the pussy clap like a on like oh, oh. ask the people next door mm. sounded like the sucker thumb sucker she thumb. on my shoes like a piece of gum <laughs> she, she know i'm not the like a piece of gum i absolutely love e40 <laughs> absolutely love the hook as well i like that hook that hook is not very clear which gives space for you to just vibe to the the simple airy bliss production um it's not a really overpowering hook it kind of just lets the track breathe it lets the track be what it wants to be and i like that that differ significantly from the last two tracks in Mexico and Packages which were like bass heavy literally domineering in your face like aggressive tracks lately in 10 times definitely are more summery more loose more carefree so we've got like two kind of summery chill vibes following after some very impactful pounding in your ears vibes and I like that it's kind of like evened it out like what was once maybe too aggressive for me in terms of Packages was actually I'm now looking back on it and I'm thinking, do you know what? It's probably not that bad because within the body of work, it's just been placed well. I really like Lately though. I like him singing again. It's great. And I just like, I just like, I just like to see how versatile he is. but he's singing them it's quite like contrasting to hear such bold lyrics and he's singing it so eloquently like he's singing a love ballad <laughs> basketball vibes is insane um it's very like it took me aback recently continuing that chill vibe that we got from um 10 times and lately um but it's like he's doing even more singing here and it's even more chill like it's, it's, he's doing it and i'm not even saying that there's anything wrong with him doing it like i don't feel like he's stepping out of his comfort zone a bit too much or being a bit too different i see that he's very much very capable of doing different sounds doing a sound like this it's just because it's it's just because i've never heard him go so deep into this sound before that i'm really taken aback and i'm like whoa yeah yeah. Oh, okay, this sounds like something Bitch. I need. Yeah. I did a lot of it change. I done took it to some levels that a lot of niggas won't go. I did 
did a lot of bad things just to get changed. Yeah. I done took it to some levels that a lot of niggas won't go. Yeah. Take a life just to get a name. Now she won't be surprised. Tears on the Bible, she pray for me. Yeah. This can't be the life that she made for me. Gotta Woo. lie to police when they read for cops. All dope, hard dope, get it on. One stop, slug, crack, rock, never hit a wicked dump shot. Yeah, middle school, it was dope. That flow that he did it for so long and then he... Get it, don't regret it, every nigga, some to rap out. All that I can do is dash out. Get a couple down, niggas, put the mask on, cash out. Bro, no games, can't play now. If I see you at the top, but I see you on the way down. Oh. Fuck what a nigga say now. This track is insane. It's got like some next drive to it. He sounds like he was just really wanting it here, which is which is like probably why he in the hook. He's talking about how he's gonna make it. He has to make it, even if it takes forever and a day. You can see the urgency in the way he raps here. The way he story tells, the progression of the storytelling shows like just the severity of it all, how much it all means to him. It's insane. I absolutely love Forever and a Day. I feel like it's a great track which really showcases the passion of Freddie and just how much he is willing to do to be recognized to get that recognition to get to that place he wants to be i think i appreciate it i want you to be the best man and shit my nigga for real hit me when you get back nigga tell the streets i've been down for a minute chop it up and let my real niggas fit had the kitchen on the stove pockets on the swall chopping up the moles i was getting production of this beat how it's like in and out it's like in and out it's kind of got like this trance kind of vibe to it attention while i'm starving for attention all she want is my attention all i want to do is smoke and fuck her thug it out and keep shit undercover again showing his humanity a lot of rappers are scared to show this a lot of rappers want to keep up the bravado want to keep up the image of being just so confident in themselves being dominant with the woman having everything that they want being that guy loads of rappers want to maintain that image of being that guy and in many in every single like album i've had so far i've heard a vulnerable track from freddie i've heard a self-critique track from freddie it goes to show what type of rapper he is that he is willing and able to put that out there to just show that he's just human like the rest of us and i remember i was Insecurities is is a vibe. Um, I just love how vulnerable he is there. In every instance of life, he kind of tries to discuss it, touch upon it, and show some vulnerability in that track. It's insane. I love the trancey kind of vibe of the production. It makes it really sound like he's within his thoughts. Because you know like when you're in a trance, like you're in your head too much and you're coming back into reality and then you're going back into your head. It kind of feels a bit like that. And his lyrics mimic that. So it's like, it's, it's great. Vocalizer in the background is deadly. It's it's haunting. Like it adds like this vulnerability to the track. It's like the track is developing its own voice. It's like the track is developing its own thoughts and feelings. It's almost like the track becomes personified when we get all those kind of vocalizers. And because of that, it sounds like such a human beat. It just sounds like really like like alive. <laughs> I love him talking about just wanting to be legit, like how he wants to stop, but it's like an addiction. It's like he can't. Like this is the last one. I'm gonna swear I'm not gonna do this again. We see that urgency of him wanting to change. Not wanting to be trapped in this cycle. Nice as a night child. My uncle still can't put the liquor of the pipe down. Meanwhile, I'm in this kitchen whipping up the white gown. You see, I like that. It's again addressing addiction, saying his uncle can't face his own addictions, the liquor or the pipe. Just like I'm still in this kitchen whipping. It's like it's an addiction in some sense. He's addicted to that lifestyle. Every syrup, every looking in the mirror, said that you were dope, being no dope boy, smoking no 
this is shit that I can pass to with the sympathy. And for police, it's cause they killing you and killing me. Banging and banging, my papers, they getting fatter. So you pussy niggas shouldn't be living, should have been aborted. Then Freddy came, Freddy Cody, yo, and Freddy Gordon. Then at the studio and so the murder. Is so constant and then like the <gasps> of his breath, like he's taking in breath. He needs his breath to keep going. It just sounds like this is his, this is his med, like is his air. It's definitely a track you listen to by yourself, man. That was insane. The flow, everything was excellent there. Instant favorite. <laughs> Oh my goodness, this was like amazing. At first I was like, okay, this is getting a bit repetitive, but then the beat changed. Like it, that static sound, the static sound began to like metamorphosize into this like whole ethereal space-like sound again. It's like we were going into space. The alien that we've already established, he's the alien. It's like he was rising back into that UFO, transcending this realm, looking down at us like, like we are just a bunch of weaklings and he is just the king and he's just looking at us like what the hell are you guys <laughs> it's an insane beat the way it grew the way it just gradually changed into this like sci-fi thing oh it was great the perfect ending i kind of don't want to listen to any bonus tracks like that's that's the end of the album for me in my eyes but we're gonna listen to some bonus tracks yeah. Yeah. So my boy isn't really a favorite for me like I enjoy the keys in there um, the keys make it sound really haunting and I haven't had like much blatant keys in this album so far and I'm a big fan of hearing keys in production so I liked hearing Freddie for a little bit rapping over that it sounded really deadly um, but then like I just I actually don't feel like it like again it is a bonus so it's, an, it's a plus one it's an addition <laughs> Ten chickens. I feel like ten chickens is very. It's just it's got that kind of subtle bounce to it, and I like that. And I like when Freddie has that kind of subtle bounce in his rapping as well. So it was a great track. I feel like that's a very good bonus track. I wish my boy wasn't a bonus track because I'm not the biggest fan of my boy. If it was just like Cold Ass Nigga and then Ten Chickens, that would have been great. And then because Ten Chickens really does feel like. The, the start into another album so it's like yes shadow of a doubt is finished with cold ass nigga but then it's like it's going into 10 chickens and 10 chickens is like the next chapter shadow of a doubt wow the overarching like statement i have to have about this album is that this album is literally um is literally an evolutionary album like it changes this is like one of the albums that i can really say took me on a journey we got all sorts of different vibes here all in all this album was like an alien type of vibe like i was getting real alien ethereal space like sci-fi vibes from this album For, to me freddie gibbs really just showed me that he's not normal in this album because of all the pockets he touched and all the things that he did it's just like he's not trying to miss anything out everything he can try out and everything he can try out successfully with his own spin on it it was sound different but you will still identify it as that type of sound as that type of theme or as that type of genre as this type of vibe but it's freddy's style and you're comfortable with listening to it in freddy's style it's like it's he's so talented at making you enjoy his take on things and in terms of my criteria gosh um did it make creative sense yes 
Freddie effortlessly touched different vibes in this album. Was The album was so creatively broad, did so much in production wise, and Freddie was able to match the production and the vibes each time. So the creative sense of this album, I totally get what he was doing. I got the sci-fi kind of vibe from, vibes from it. I got the vibes where it's like, just really futuristic and when it's dark and when it's just bass, power, adrenaline heavy. And every time Freddie matched it, so it was great. The album made a lot of creative sense. In terms of how many boom tracks, <laughs> there were loads. There were so many boom tracks. I mean, I added quite a lot to the playlist. Highlights for me, Careless and um, and effing up the count. I um, really love Extra Die in terms of just how odd it was. Flipping and switching and Black Thought as the great feature he was there. I really liked um, uh, Mick Duck because of the Dana Williams feature and her beautiful voice and Freddie showing us a bit of elegance in the way he likes to sing song rap as well. Lately and 10 times, forever and a day in securities, Freddie Gordy and Cold Ass Nigga, like the last four. And then those are the ones I mentioned. Those were great. And then everything else was good. So the boom tracks though, we have a lot. We have like eight or nine, or even 10 boom tracks. And this is a 17 song album. Uh, so plenty boom tracks, just enough to keep the, the, the listener engaged. Third criteria, did it take me on a journey? As I expressed, it did. Started with a lot of energy from Rearview and Narcos. Then we have Careless and Up The Count. Having energy, but in a more subtle way. Then we go back to having that boom in your face with, with um like m things like Mexico and packages. It was like, we definitely got taken on a journey from different ways of, ex different expressions of Freddy, different production vibes every single time it changed it changed accordingly it changed in a way that made sense from the last thing that it was so it's very good in terms of this journey this album took me on an insane journey because of this this album has pretty much ticked my criteria all three of them and so it's probably going to score high i think i'm going to give it an 8.5 this is a very solid album for me um and i loved to see freddie's versatility here yeah that is the end of my reaction and review to Shadow of a Doubt. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and leave a comment down below of your thoughts. I'll see you guys all next time.